So anyways, that's about all I got, man. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I can't really go in. I got I got a lot more because I used to be a psycho fascist hater, political brainwash, zombie drone. I was hypnotized, bad, and I was. I thought I was exactly in the will of God too. I didn't even know I was out of the will of God. I didn't even know. How counterproductive I was because I thought I was doing the fight of the Lord and I wasn't. And he had to wake me up and he did it. He did it harshly. Okay. You know, I'm going to tell you a little story, man. I got time. These are, it, all these videos are on YouTube. You know, you can watch as many as you want. You can stop it whenever you want. So... Even though this may be long-winded, you can look at it, you know, more than one viewing. I'm not in, I'm not on a platform in front of people in one service, so I can do whatever freaking crap I want to do. But I can, you know, I'm called to preach. If I ever get in front of a freaking pulpit or behind a pulpit in front of people in a church, I don't know. They will have to take me just like I am right now. Just like while I'm talking in this video, that's the way it rolls with me, baby, because I'm freaking real. So if that happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't freaking matter to me because I reach tons of people doing what I'm doing right now. And that's the only reason I do it, because I want to reach people. I don't, I don't care. I don't care about status or prestige or being accepted by anybody. I'm not seeking the approval of any freaking person, except God, okay? Okay. I'm going to give you an example of the way I used to be and what happened to me, and I'm going to... That's going to be the end of the video because I, I think I did this on my social cam, but it's time to update it. So I'm going to tell it again. Are you ready, children? Are you ready from Tales from the Crypt? Because it's going to get freaking ugly. So, so anyways. Um. Um, back in the 2000, or in the late 90s, I was in college, been in church maybe four or five years, belonged to a Christian organization with a friend of mine, we were an outreach organization, and uh, we, uh, I'm going to turn that back on. I'm going to turn that on and just off. So anyways, and um, you know, I was really successful in college, you know, I was doing well in my studies, man, I was making friends on campus, I started listening to uh, um, oh God, um, Charles, I forgot that old boy's name, he's dead now, man, he's out in Florida, Coral Ridge Ministries. And he was a preacher who wanted to take America back. I forgot that dude's name. But it was political, man. It was more freaking political than it was really preaching the freaking gospel. Almost everything the dude talked about had something to do with politics. And I could tell the difference between his talk show on Christian radio and other programs that were nothing but the recorded messages of church sermons, you know, from local and national, you know, ministries. 
I could tell the difference in the spirit that was in each one of them, but I wasn't sure. There was a there was a conflict there. There was a there was something in my heart that was conflicted, and I I was like I knew my Holy Ghost was, you know, dealing with me, but you know I had a strong desire to get involved in Christian political conservative politics. So, anyways. I had a guy in my class that wound up working at the same place I was working, and uh, he he mentioned in the break room one day, or no, he mentioned in class one day that he was in the student government, and he had, they voted on a new constitution. I was like, man, this is like cool. I want to get involved in this. So when I was at work one day, we got to talking, and I told him, man, I'm really interested. And he said, man, if you really want to get involved, he said, come to our next meeting, and I'll nominate you for the College of Business Senator. You know, if they vote you in, dude, you're in. I was like, cool. So I went, and and I gave him a little speech, and I got in. They, they, they voted for me, and there's another girl there that wanted the same seat, and I'm not bragging. I'm just telling the facts. They voted me in over her, but it wound up, it was the will of God that they actually had two more seats that they didn't even know about, according, you know, to the rules or whatever. So she wound up being in and being my partner and another guy. He was a fraternity dude and she was a sorority chick. And, uh, really, man, those girls... They never had any guy really respect them and be nice to them and actually care about them as a friend. So they were like, wow, man, Chuck is cool. And I was really good friends with them for a long time. And they were sororities. But anyways, <clears throat> so I was listening to the political crap, and it, and, it, and, it, and it wasn't just that dude with Coral Ridge Ministry. I started listening to Rush Limbaugh. I started listening to Pat Buchanan. I started listening to Michael Savage. I got addicted to news talk political radio programs. Okay. And my mind got poisoned bad. And it got to the point where that became an idol in my life. I was consumed with student government. I was consumed with politics. I was consumed with it, man. That's all I thought about. My studies started uh, slacking off, man. You know, the highlight of my week was our student government meeting every week because I wanted a freaking hobnob. I wanted to hobnob with the state and local political uh, movers and shakers that would come and give talks, you know. At our meetings, we always had a special person come in and give a talk that was a political person or a president of this or a leader of that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was good at it too, but it wasn't the will of God. I strayed away bad. And then all of a sudden, all hell broke loose in my personal life, and I had to move in the dorms. And I was so mad because I had to live in a dorm with was nothing but black people. And according to political freaking news crap, black people are, 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 are mooches. You know, they want something for freaking nothing. They're a bunch of cultural Marxists who want to blame the white man for everything under the freaking sun, I was brainwashed, dude, with freaking racial bullcrap, okay, and then, you know, Pat Buchanan, I don't think he really was a racist, you know, he said, he said, they're all cultural Marxists, and the minorities and the women were against the uh, rich white men people, and, and, and you know what, the people that are at the top of the Freemasons are rich white men, you cannot be a minority male and be a Freemason unless you go to Prince Hall Freemasonry. That's for black people. You can't you can't be a Freemason unless you're white. And you can't be at the top of the freaking totem pole at the pyramid at the highest degrees unless you're a mover and shaker 
rich person, okay, politically connected and successful in business. That's all they want is people with political influence. And you can't be a woman either. You got to join the Eastern Star. So anyways, I got out straight away. And I didn't want to be in there because they're all a bunch of freaking mooches. And they're all Democrats. And and it was cultural Marxism. It was us against them. They were my freaking enemy according to the freaking political poison freaking conservative religious doctrine. That I see all my friends on Facebook poison with the same crap I was freaking 15 years ago. Okay. So so I was I was I was in there. And I was in the student government. And I was a somebody. And I had my eye on being student government president. And 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 that was my goal. Because I was getting ready to go to freaking Washington DC and be a freaking politician. I had the faith to do that. That was after I conquered freaking Wall Street because I wanted to work for J.P. Morgan as an analyst. Okay, I did. Okay, that was my two freaking main goals in this life. Making it to Washington after I had been successful on Wall Street. That's what I wanted to do. And I could care less about the little freaking crap heads all around me going to freaking hell. I did they they were they were they were like freaking mosquitoes biting me and buzzing, man. They were just little pests that got on my freaking nerves. And the dorm I was in was the majority was black people and there was international people in there too. And that's why I stayed in there. Okay. You hold on.